Each polyline consists of segments and vertices. A vertex is essentially the point at the end of each segment. You can edit a polyline by editing the individual vertices or vertex points using the Edit Polyline tool. I'll expand the Modify panel on the Home Ribbon tab and select the Edit Polyline tool. When I select this polyline to edit, and then select Edit Vertex, the prompt changes and shows me all of the vertex editing options. Notice that there's also an X marker that will move forward to the next vertex. Every time I press the Enter key to select the next option, the marker moves to the next vertex. If I select the previous option, it moves back to the previous vertex in the opposite direction. So next moves in one direction and previous moves in the other direction. Once I reach the vertex that I want to edit, I can choose one of the other options. I can choose to break the polyline at that point so that it's no longer continuous. I can insert a new vertex. I can move that vertex. I can straighten it. I can insert a tangency. And I can also assign a width to any vertex point and change the width of any polyline segment. Let me demonstrate a couple of examples here. Let me choose the Insert option. And then we'll insert a new vertex. Now I can move that vertex. When I'm done editing the vertices, I can exit back to the other polyline editing options. If we assign a width to the polyline, we're essentially assigning a width to all of the segments. So if I choose the width option and specify a width of 0 0.05, all of the polyline segments change to that new width. But if I want to change the width of just one segment, I can go back into the Edit Vertex options. Notice the little X marker in the corner. By pressing the Enter key, I can move that marker to other vertices. When I reach the vertex that I want to change, I can select the Width option. Now I can specify a new width value. I'll enter 0.75. And now I can enter an ending width of, let's say, 0 0.05. Now I can move to the next segment. And we'll change the width of this segment as well. I'll enter a width value of 0.5. And I'll press Enter to accept the ending width of 0.5. When I'm done editing vertices, I can exit from the Edit Vertex mode, and then press Enter to exit from the pEdit command. So you've seen how I can edit individual vertices and modify individual polyline segments using the Edit Vertex options. This is still a single closed polyline.